This is another book review written by Murphy here. I'm reviewing Tuck Everlasting by Natalie Babbitt. This is a children's story and I hadn't read it before so I picked it up and blazed through it. It's a story about the main character is a 10 year old girl. So it's definitely a children's story, but the topics in the story are very universal and interesting. It's a short story and completely age appropriate for a 10 year old, but there are very serious matters in this book. Before I talk about the themes in the book, I want to talk about the prose. It's very beautifully written. It's, it's lovely. The writing, Natalie Babbitt's writing is really great. And therefore as an adult, I enjoy the flow and the descriptions and the people a lot. It's not immediately apparent what the story is about. It's a lot of laying the scene and introducing the characters very slowly. The initial part we meet, the Tucks, the Tuck family. We don't, we, there's hints that something strange is happening. And then we go back to Winifred, Winnie, and she, as a 10 year old, she is wanting her freedom. She decides she wants to run away. And as she is going out into the world to run away like a 10 year old might into the forest, she encounters a young man, a 17 year old, the Tuck. And she sees him drinking from the fountain. And this sets into events. What happens next? It turns out the Tux tell, mm, he's drinking from a fountain in the a stream and he tells her she can't, she can't. But in order, she says, I'm so thirsty. He takes her. He doesn't take her. Her family comes up with a horse and kidnaps her to keep her from drinking the water and finding out more about this water. So she's been kidnapped and they tell her the story that this water will let you live forever. And they have lived forever and it has not been a wonderful thing for them. They stayed rigid in their, in the age when they drank the water. She doesn't know if she believes them. She's only 10. Who are these people? But they seem very nice. They're strange, but she feels at home with them. All of this is a very, very 10 year old, totally what a 10 year old would think. Then <laughs> there's a series of events. I can't give it all away. Someone comes to rescue her. He was passing through the town at the moment that Winnie was abducted and connives to go save her with the police chief coming behind. Now he comes in and he says, I know your secret. I know about the fountain of life. You have to tell me about it. You have to be the people who can be sideshow people to help me sell access to this. And they're like, no, no, you can't do this. And he says, no, I'm going to take the girl. Don't take the girl. They love her now. They've already developed a bond. And the mom of this family hits this evil rescuer stranger in the back of the head very hard just as the police chief comes up. Well, why did you take her? Because why did you hit, hit this guy? Why did you kill him? Well, he's not entirely dead. Why did you try to kill him? Because he was going to take the girl. Well, you took the girl first. Now, what does this mean? 
Winnie, the ten-year-old, has a lot of feelings about it. And in the end, the mother goes back to jail with the concept that she will be hung for the crime of killing this person. But the handsome brother comes up with a plan and says, come, we, we will, we will uh, set her free so no one will find out about our strange immortality and the world can stay the same. And Winnie says, I will take her place to give you a better chance of getting away. So she will, if they take the mother out, she'll slip in and be under the cover so no one will know. All right. But the handsome boy says, wait for six years when you're 17 too, like me. I'm stuck being 17. But if you're 17 too, you can drink the eternal water and we can be together. Wow. Wow. All these choices. Very big choices, but exactly fit to a 10-year-old mind. A 10-year-old can really grapple with all these. I think a 10-year-old is almost as, as well equipped to think about the problems of being immortal as I, as a nearly 50-year-old person, am. These are really deep, beautiful stories. And then the question is, well, if immortality is something, what does it mean to choose if I'm going to go be in love with this guy? Very interesting concepts. Very chewy little book. Very well written. Beautifully written. I can't tell the end. I mean, I could, but you guys go read it. Go read it. It's beautiful. It was made into two different movies, which I haven't seen. But this is a really... Deserve, uh, it deserves its attention. It's a well done book. And I'm glad I read it. I would definitely give it to... A 10 year old to read. Or even someone younger very interesting. There is a lot to it. There's more. I really enjoyed the book and it's worth reading. <laughs> what do you think? I'd be interested to know. <laughs>